Hey guys, what's up? How is everybody doing out there? I am getting ready to go to my local metaphysical store to pick up some new tarot card decks and get some extra surprises and goodies to incorporate into your readings. So I'm really excited and I'm going to bring you with me. Let's go. Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Whiff of Tarot. I'm back with your January 2020 tarot reading. Happy New Year to everybody out there. This is going to be the best year yet and I look forward to growing with all of you. Also, I'd just like to quickly announce, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Sometimes the platform periodically removes subscribers and I've been hearing and seeing from other channels too that subscribers are sometimes removed or missing and they don't even realize it. So make sure you are subscribed. It's important to do so too so that you get notifications for when I release your readings. So I'm going to be looking at your current energies, your future energies, and then two advice cards for you. Okay, very nice. So as you saw when I was shuffling, we had the Two of Cups jump out. And this is a really beautiful card to start with. So for many of you out there, you are either connecting with somebody new in a love relationship or rekindling with somebody that you already have a relationship with. Also too, we are still around the holidays, so this could also indicate celebrating with family, getting together with friends. But the Two of Cups is a very strong indicator that you are either talking to somebody new or starting to date or even connecting with a soulmate. Two of Cups is one of my soulmate cards. With the Prince of Pentacles following it, this is somebody with Earth in their chart or an Earth sign. This is a very, very stable energy. So what this tells me is that some of you could be connecting with a Prince of Pentacles person or this is just your energy that you're taking on. If this is not about a love situation, this could simply indicate that you're focusing on your career, you're focusing on your goals, your hobbies. Prince of Pentacles is one of the most stable knights in tarot. Now, if this is about a love relationship, then this is going to be somebody that is really stable. They offer you a lot. However, with the Prince of Pentacles, it's one of the slower moving nights of the tarot because whatever they have to offer is very stable. They've thought a lot about whatever they are bringing to you, whether that's commitment, protection, stability, a long-term connection. Now, this could also indicate that some of you are getting a job or you got a new job or even a promotion. So I'm gonna clarify this in just a few seconds to see what it's all about. Now, for your future energies, we have the 10 of Pentacles. So this is really beautiful. As you can see, most of this is Pentacles energy. And I love to see that for you because many of you out there, I have the feeling this does have to do with your finances or your career or just getting some type of real stability into your life. With the Ten of Pentacles here, guys, this is one of the best cards you can get, and this indicates happy home life. Again, with some type of maybe a promotion in your job that some of you 
might have come into even money. If some of you were owed money, this could be money coming into you. This could also be a gift of some sort too, but your future looks really, really nice. Now, under that, we have the King of Pentacles. So interesting because we have both the Prince and King of Pentacles. So what this tells me is that some of you are definitely connecting with an earth sign or somebody with earth in their chart. Now you could have earth in your chart as well. And if this is not about a romantic partner, then what this tells me is that you're simply really just coming into a beautiful energy where you're focused on your career, your finances, hobbies, something to that effect. The King of Pentacles is, as you can see, he's surrounded by wealth and even power, as you can see with the visual here. So whatever energy you're coming into, it's really beautiful, guys. And what this tells me is that you've also worked really hard on some type of goal. This could be something that you're bringing in from 2019 even, and you're seeing it come to fruition in 2020. So I'm going to clarify everything here to get a little bit more specific. Okay, so wow, guys. So clarifying the Prince of Pentacles, which is also the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles. Whoa. <laughs> guys, can I get into whatever you're involved with? This is such beautiful energy here. So again, it's just confirming everything I already stated. Some of you are going to be connecting romantically with an earth sign or with somebody with earth in their chart, somebody who is very stable, they can offer you a lot. And if that's not your story and this isn't about a romantic situation, you are simply working on yourself, okay? And perhaps, again, this could be about some type of promotion you got or even a new job or something that just came in and brought you a lot of stability. With the Page of Pentacles here too, this could also indicate that some of you are receiving a message, especially clarifying the Prince of Pentacles. These are two of my messenger cards of the tarot. So this is your current energy. And if you're not experiencing this at the time of this reading, this could indicate that somebody is coming in to give you a message. And it could be either a message of stability in a romantic sense or a new job or promotion or even money. Now, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles, we have another king. We have the King of Wands. So this could certainly be you. This is somebody with a uh, fire in their chart or a fire sign, man or woman. This is somebody who is very attractive, is a go-getter, really ambitious. Now, these two paired together is really a force to be reckoned with, and this is your energy. So this is something you're coming into and I have the feeling that if you guys felt stuck in a rut or there was some type of stagnant energy, what this is saying is for your future, all of that is going to be done with. You are going to be a force to be reckoned with is the message coming through here, guys. Now, whether this is in a career sense or just a general energy that I'm feeling, but the visual here is you're gonna own it, right? The energy here is just a really powerful energy and manifesting something too, as you can see. So what this tells me is you're going to come into a really, really beautiful energy in 2020. I love to see this for you. The other message that just came through is that some of you if this is a romantic situation, and it is for some of you out there, you are going to be connecting with somebody who is not only stable, but you're very attracted to this person as well. This is somebody who's going to bring passion into your life, and you could already be connecting with this person as well. 
So I'm just gonna take one more card here just to get a little bit more specific. So I asked for a clarifier on your future energies and we have the star. This is getting so ridiculous, guys. You have one of the most beautiful readings and I'm so happy to see this for you. This is wish fulfillment, so make a wish, guys. So this is something I have the feeling that many of you have been hoping on, wishing on for a long time. So the two storylines is this could be somebody that you've been wishing to come into your life or come back into your life and have some type of real commitment with and it comes through for you in January or shortly thereafter. And if this is not about a person, this is about getting real stability, recognition, success in your career and in general. So, so beautiful to see this. Also, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius and this could also talk about healing something, whether this is healing a union or even working on yourself, right? Just getting yourself to a more healthy, peaceful, balanced state to bring some type of real success into your future. Really, really beautiful. So I took two advice cards before your reading and what we have here is the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. And what's really interesting about this duo is that they're opposite energies, okay? And I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot so there's a different message to each side. So now the messages I'm going to deliver with these two advice cards you can take together or if one is resonating with you more then feel free to leave the other behind. So with the Knight of Swords, what this is saying is some of you, not all of you, have to temper your emotions, perhaps get a little bit more balanced. And I'm reading these together because it's such an interesting combination because like I said, they're total opposites. With the Knight of Cups, what this is saying is be open to your emotions, open up your emotions, be open to new love opportunities. The Knight of Cups on this side has no hidden agenda, okay? This person has no ulterior motives. This is pure loving energy, especially with the waterfall in the back. This person is really in touch with their emotions, okay? So if some of you have been closed off, right? Or maybe your emotions are out of balance, especially here, this person's face is hidden, okay? This person's face is shielded, which is representing they're completely closed off to new love opportunities or love in general. What this is saying is to try to release some of that energy and come into this, a more loving state. For others of you out there too, the message that's coming through is to perhaps go after what you want. Okay, be a little bit more bold or brave. Don't be afraid to make decisions. Be a little bit fearless. The two knights here are both of my messenger cards as well. So also the final message here is to communicate. Don't be afraid to open up. Don't be afraid to share your emotions but also make sure that you're keeping them in check. Sagittarius, I wish you a beautiful January, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.